Why is my pool water green? If you don't know what you're doing with your water chemistry, it's a foregone conclusion that your water is going to turn green at some point or another, and you're going to find yourself asking this question. The first and foremost thing that's going to come to mind is chlorine. Do you have chlorine in your water? If the answer is no, then there's your answer. Your water is green because you don't have chlorine in it. But more specifically, you need a free chlorine count between two to four parts per million. You always want your free chlorine level above zero. Why is my water green? Yes, I know I need chlorine. I've got chlorine. The water is still green. The cyanuric acid level, it is something that all swimming pools need. The sunscreen for chlorine, that's the catchphrase. So if you didn't have any stabilizer or you had zero cyanuric acid in your pool, then your chlorine level is going to be zero by the end of the day. The UV is going to degrade it all. Stabilized chlorine. What that means, stabilized, is that there's cyanuric acid in it. Every time that you add a chlorine puck to the water, then you're adding more stabilizer. It will slowly climb over time, 80 to 100 parts per million, you're going to notice that the water will turn green. You are entering something called chlorine lock. Uh, the chlorine is just unable to do its job. Check your cyanuric acid level. You need to drain and refill your water to get it back down into that 30 to 50 parts per million range. But that's not the end of it. There could be something else, like pH, for example. Around 8.0 and certainly over 8.2, chlorine is largely unable to do its job. And this would be especially true for something like a saltwater swimming pool. So what, what else could be wrong? Phosphates. It's like a superfood for the algae in your pool water. And so if you are chronically dealing with green water, that's something that I would check. It's not something that's always tested for. Phosphates are so important that we measure them in parts per billion. And by the time you get 500 parts per billion or more, your chlorine is already being readily depleted. By the time you get to 1,000 or 2,000 parts per billion or more, your water is green all the time and it doesn't matter how much chlorine you use or how fast you pour it in, it all gets used up and you've got green water the next day again. And that's kind of it from a chemical perspective when I'm dealing with a green pool. Filtration is a very important part of keeping your water clean and clear. Pool owners tend to undervalue. You need to, as the pool owner, pump three times the volume of your pool through the filtration system every day. That will achieve approximately 95% of all of the water in your pool being filtered once every 24 hours. If you filter your pool on a very lean schedule, or perhaps you have a minimally effective filtration system, then you might not be filtering your water enough. Now the chemicals in your water need to try to deal with. And if I had chronically green water, I would definitely want to take a look at my filtration schedule. These are the things that I would do if I was dealing with green water and trying to find the source for it.